Okay, it's Ringwall Media. It's uh, Fight Week over in Manchester. And of course, the, all the faces are out. And of course, the new Zell for Barrett. Nice to see you. No doubt, and the new man, and the new. What performance, mate? You must be chuffed. Of course, I'm chuffed. You know, um, a late replacement, tough Mexican. He was already preparing for a fight anyway, a week before mine, so he was in shape. So, you know what? I put out a good demolition job, I feel like, and I've done better than what the other fighters have done to him. So, and he's been in with some good names, you know, Diaz, Oscar Valdez. You know, he had a good fight with Valdez as well, didn't he? He had a very good fight, you know, and so this was his opportunity. And, you know, I pulled it out of the bag. But was there any doubt? No doubt. No, I just, I just, it, that was what just come to my mind so far, but I not say it. Listen, um... Obviously, the fruits now going forward are hopefully Joe Cordina next. Is there something that you can talk about? Is there anything there? Is that the desire? That's what it is. You know, I'd hope, I'd love that fight, but you know, he's on his own journey. He wants to do unification, so I can just keep beating whoever gets put in front of me, really, and just you know, just show that I can't be denied. But I believe that I've earned my way to become. And you definitely put on a really good performance there. I'd say better than the first fight where, you know, you got in injured. I think you were definitely in better form. Yeah, of course, you know, like, my car punches were crisp. You know, I had the right time to prepare and whatnot, you know. And I'm one of the best car punches in Britain. I'm one of the best car punches in the world, I believe it, you know. So I showed customer skill and paced it well, really. And I, I, I could have got a stoppage, really, but, you know, I was under instructions. And that's what I had to do, I had to do it, man. We thought you were going to take him out a couple of times and uh, you held back a little bit, so we wondered if you were under instructions. Yeah, I was, man, flipping it. As soon as I seen him wobble, I was going to throw the kitchen sink at him, but I could hear my Uncle Pat absolutely going mad. Relax, he's going to come again. So I, just was, under, I was like, ah. Probably, I think I pulled a face in the ring, cause it's, but, you know. Listen, Pat knows best, you know that. No doubt, man, no doubt. He, he's, a tough, he's a tough man, the Mexican, you know. And some of them guys are dangerous when they're hurt. So, you know, I was under instructions and we put out the bag. Listen, Lara Wood too, um, another tough Mexican and it's, uh, you know, going to be a big fight, isn't it? Big fight, massive fight, you know. I'm in between two shows. I'm going to watch Pat's Pat show for an hour and I'm going to head over here and watch the main event, man. But yeah, it's a, it's a big fight. Hopefully Lara could, just, I mean not Lara, hopefully Lee Wood. Could, nearly. Yeah, nearly. He can pull it out of the bag, man. You know, he's been in the last fight and he got caught with a shot, but it's boxing, isn't it? So we'll see now. now. Last week in Dublin, Eddie confirmed that the winner will get uh, Josh Warrington. So what do you think about that? Big fight. You know, hopefully I want Lee Wood to win, so it's a great British world title fight, you know, and it benefits everybody that kind of fight. They both get paid well. It's a, it's a fight for, the, <clears throat> for Britain. You know, and, um, it's a great fight, man. It is indeed. Now listen... You spoke on that, spoke earlier there about uh, Pat Show. He's also got one on the same night, um, and he's absolutely packed out bowlers this this time, isn't he? Thousands of tickets sold, VIP booths. It's going to be big time, isn't it? Oh, it's a big show. It's a big show, man. You know, he's done well. He, he does well for these up and coming fighters and the little starter packs. He does very well. I started off there. Niall Brown, you know, Nick Ball was on there. Shabazz Mahmood, is it because Shabazz Mahmood? Shabazz was on there. Amir, come here. Here she comes, the boss. Say ya. Hello. Peace. Ah, oh, she's brilliant, she's a natural. But yeah, um, he does well, Pat, with these shows, man, so he doesn't get the credit he really deserves for it, but he does very well. And it's a cracking card with a couple of debutantes as well, isn't it? Uh, George, Colleen, and um, forgotten his name now. Um, Garth Ward. Garth, of course. He's been boxing for years. Him, City boxed and I boxed. You know, but obviously, he's on, he's on the path now what he wants to be on. But, yeah, I can't give Pat credit enough for just for starting people's careers off. And, you know, and not many people are giving opportunities like that. You know, obviously, you only get the fighters that have been Olympics and won the ABAs that jump on these kind of shows. But, you know, you get fighters like me that didn't do all that. And I had to prove my 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 worth on the job, really, and that you know, and it, and I had I done it. So credit to Patman. And uh, Nile Brown's back on that card, isn't he? He's going to get some rounds in after a great performance on Wasserman Live on Channel Five. Yeah, man, Nile Brown's he's, he's 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 very very underrated. Like he's under the radar. One minute, yes, baby. 
You stay there. <laughs> we got carnage here. No, you stay there, you. Yeah, he's very underrated, man. Um, not underrated, that's the wrong word. He's very under the radar. So when he when he, when he he comes out, man, he's, he's good. He's very good. And, you know, promoters out there, man, yo, get at him quick because when, when someone has got him, he's just gonna he's just gonna flower into something great so he's an he, he's an ex up we've got other fighters in the gym Adam Masul Lewis you know um Garth George Connor Ward Connor Ward serious too so we've got some great fighters in the gym man that are just up and coming and just breaking away through the ranks man well, listen there's absolute carnage going on behind you there she's she's taking over the stage um just one final uh final word when do you think you might get yourself back out again don't know. Here with Mr. Wood, the manager, so hopefully, uh, I'd say probably October time, September. I don't. I think there's a show here in September, isn't there? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. But around them times, uh, i would be out. So I'm staying in shape. And anyway. you know me. You know me well. I'm out. I'm in the gym. Man, I'm not even meant to be in the gym. So I'm in the gym. Live there. I literally do. Like I feel. I feel like I'm lost if I'm not in the gym. I don't even have to ask if you've had a holiday because I know you haven't. No, I've literally, literally just. Trained, showered, got a little baby, come here. You know, it's my life in it. That's what separates me from the rest. Like, and I don't think I'm special. It's just hard work. That's why I could take world title fights, even five week notice, and put out them performances like that. You know, fortunately I got a bit perforated Adrian, but look at them first seven, eight rounds. Was, it looked easy without being disrespectful to us racking off. My ability just came through. So that's the reason why I can do that. Because they're living in the gym, living a lifestyle. Yeah, I do eat mad junk food and whatnot, but as long as you're training hard and you're maintaining your fitness, and it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And so at the moment, you're the new. Yeah, at the moment, I'll take that. I'm the new. I'll take that. You know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm the new. I'm the new. Well, listen, mate, great to speak to you as always. We look forward to uh, a good fight week here in uh, Manchester. And also, uh, best of luck for Pat and his show. If there's, uh, anyone wants to go and see some really good boxing at uh, that sort of level, get yourself a ticket now, and uh, I'm sure there's a couple left that they can get. Yeah, no doubt there's tickets. For, well, I don't know, actually. It's, it's kind of tight there, but if there's tickets there, there's tickets there. But it's a good show for boxing. Watch yourself. It's a good show for boxing all around. You know, is it Lawrence Acoli fighting? Um... Conlon, you know, this show. It's a big weekend. Big weekend, you know, so great show, great, great night of boxing Saturday. Nice one, mate. Good to speak to you as always. All the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice one.